Greetings, channel beings. Nightingale here. I'm back with more Swan Chernobyl Unexplored. We left off with our friend here in the hallway. Hello, friend. How are you? Oh, you're the one from the room, aren't you? That was chilling in the corner. How's it going? Hmm. Rock for me? Thank you, friend. Oh, nope, not rock for me. You're just putting the rock there. Okay, oh, don't mind me. Yeah, you have fun. <laughs> what was that? I can see you through the wall. <laughs> something he something <laughs> out of code fair enough how about you also locked of a key hmm <laughs> a clue I said dead end anything in the dead end Never know with this game. He ruined our lives. Kidana this is a fraud. <laughs> that ambient noise though. Four seven two nine. Hello chickens. I wonder like before there was the person in between the two chickens, right? Or something. Four seven two nine and a letter. Kate Onofsky was supposed to help me, promised me treatment, and instead he'd lock me up alone with crazies and weirdos. I'm scared. Each day is too damn long, and all inventions they're testing on us make me lose my humanity. This is a nightmare. I'm looking for an occasion to kill myself, but then I think one of the nut jobs will kill me. Yes. <laughs> oh. Find the remaining bodies. Aw, that's one of my people. 4729. So wait, do I backtrack to that or do I continue on? Game saved. I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> it's gonna be one of those. They're like, oh crap, do I continue or do I go back? Well, I know what this is. January 1987. Professor, I request your intervention. The ward is running out of most basic medication. The patients do not sleep and howl in pain. I hope you understand that the situation is alarming. Sir, medication orders have been sent out in October, November, and December, but we haven't received anything. This is why I'm addressing you directly and appealing for help in resolution to the issue. I would also like to know how are you planning to ensure the staff's safety after the recent incidents in the facility? Is there any way to contact services outside and receive help from specialist demons or forces? I feel like that should open, but it doesn't seem to. Oh, I can move. Okay. Some sort of bed. 
bedroom. Alright then. Didn't really get a good look at it, but... Alright. Still there, friend? Yep, still there. Once again, it's like... Did something change? Were they able to open anything? Nah, nothing's... Was it a key in the garbage, right? Nah. No key. Oh, that's my footsteps. It's like, what am I hearing? Hello? Hello? There's a door there. Stairs here. Do I go up the stairs? That's a lot more hallway. Probably should look at the things first. It's a computer. Tape. Nadi filter system. Is our most recent invention. The patient's visions have become so strong and clear, and so far removed from the laws of physics at the same time, that their reflections imprinted in new parallel dimensions, as well as in the thinner layers of space time continuum. The need for better understanding of those visions and the essence of their evolution has encouraged us to construct a special device that filters information stored the thin layers of dimensions parallel to ours. Okay. So they're having some sort of weird effect on multiple dimensions, so in order to see if they made something to look at it. Gotcha. Filter system management. Say description. The Nadia filter system, the so-called unreality filter, is Professor Kadanovsky's latest invention. The patient's visions have become so strong and vivid and so remote from the laws of physics ruling our world that they have left imprints in new dimensions parallel to ours, as well as in the thinner layers of the space-time continuum. The need for better understanding of those visions and of the nature of their evolution has pushed us to the creation of the special device that filters information stored in the thin layers of parallel dimensions. Yes, that's what the tape said. The GAD system. The greater attractor of atmospheric discharge is a module for the Nadia filter and it is, and it is its integral part. It is the first prototype of a device allowing the capture of all lightnings emitted by anomalies created by the patients basis of the Nadia filter working process are chemical reactions taking place between radioactive particles containing the device. They create a window of sorts that allows to see another layer of space-time. The unreality filter user is able to see the reflections of objects and even events imprinted only behind a thin layer of, visible, eh, of light visible to the human eye, opposed to the mind reader which works with the deep layers of space-time. Additionally, it requires a researcher to enter the specific dimension a distinct audio signal informs the user of the distance from the current position to the anomaly. Okay. Calibration. Status. On. So it works now. Yes? Oh, I can just flat take it. Ugh. Okay, so three turn on the filter, four turn the GAD module on. So I have no energy. Okay. Fair enough. Let's 
Still don't have a key. Wasn't key hidden in here, right? I don't think so. Oh, oh wait. Oh, it's battery. Gotcha. You are dead. Okay. Repeat. <laughs> That's what you had a key on you, huh? Oh, I didn't get the filter. Alright. How much did I just have to repeat? Well, go grab the filter. Hit the tape in case I didn't get it. Nadia filter system is our most recent invention. The patient's visions have become so strong and clear, and so far removed from the laws of physics at the same time, that their reflections imprinted in new parallel dimensions, as well as in the thinner layers of space-time continuum. The need for better understanding of those visions and the essence an actual like essence of their evolution has encouraged us to construct a special device that filters information stored the thin layers of dimensions parallel to ours. that work then? Do I see anything fancy? I'm a little afraid to turn it on randomly and get blasted. You seeing something? the code? No. Oh. Locate hidden objects, use 4 to launch the audio filter module called the GAD module, Grand Art Practice. When the module is fully charged, lightning ball energy, you can destroy hidden objects, find the lightning, and capture it by using to charge the module. Oh, okay. My bad. Wait, did I already get that then? Double check, because I'm confused on what got saved. 4729. with a door. Gotcha. Maybe this is where it's at. Is that a key? No, it depends. Is do I go up there or do I? Well, first thing I do is check to make sure this is up. Right? I was seeing stuff here. It's not. Okay, so I still need a key. Okay, I must have been on that spot. <sighs> I don't know the red. 
729. Don't stand on the lightning spot. Gotcha. Uh, strange patient room. Hi, door. Can I get here? Nope. How many times? Okay, so ball lightning, collect it, and then turn the filter off and don't click on it <laughs> when I'm standing right there, basically. Yes, yes, yes. The way to stop it once it starts playing. Nadia filter system like is our most recent invention. Yes, yes, yes. The patient's visions have become so strong and clear and so far removed from the laws of turn. physics turn. at the same time that the reflections imprinted Rad. in you Oops. parallel dimensions like how as the well as in the thinner layers of space-time continue. The need for better understanding of those visions Four. and the essence of the evolution has encouraged us to construct there. a special Don't device <laughs> that filters information stored the thin layers of dimensions parallel to ours. Special sound effect performed by distance to current position of hidden objects. Okay. corner. Sounded like there was something here. Certainly making noise like there's something here. It's louder when I'm here. in the base. <laughs> so it's that. Oh. Hello? That'd be below me, right? That's what the problem is.
Here's the static. Your fancy little object. Uh. Hmm. So what am I missing? <laughs> I feel like it's in that room. That means I'm missing a key. I still don't understand what the... Okay, counter shows how many lightning show the right amount of energy required to destroy a hidden object. Must be fired at the object. Using lesser amount will cause this loss. When the counter shows maximum value, shoot the hidden object by using it. Charge the module, special found in form. Distance from current position of hidden object. Okay. chicken then? Is that showing that it takes two? I'm gonna run out of batteries before I find this object. <laughs> The only indicator I had of anything was up here. In this room. Click around. It's loudest right here. No, I have unlimited batteries. I'm just gonna keep it on. What we got? Lock the key. Static. Hello. Super chair. I thought it was gonna be in that other room where I got the weird vision. It's gonna be something stupid like I have to die, get the energy, then trigger the vision, or something. Charge! Grab a battery. Oh. Is it literally in the box? Let the key open. This room? 
Where's the other room? It's both rooms. Do I need to go to both rooms? Alright, I'll give you that one. Famous Soviet scientist too, Andrei Zaka ah, Zakharov. There we go. Twenty-first May, nineteen twenty-one to uh, that's fourteenth or nineteenth December, nineteen eighty-nine. Nuclear physicist, political activist, researcher, in among other things, cosmic radiation. In the middle of nineteen forty-eight, he joined Ivan Kurchatov's team and started work in the Soviet nuclear program. He was one of the creators of the Soviet hydrogen bomb. After seeing the results of nuclear bomb testing, he refused further research and became a dissident. He campaigned for the disarming of nuclear weapons for democracy, human rights, and for the limitation of nuclear potential among the humanity. He criticized the Soviet Union and called it a totalitarian state. In 1975, he received a Nobel Prize for his human rights activism. Was he one of the secret ones, or just a random? Hello? Requires four. Gotcha. Do your thing. I'm a little worried about what happens if you turn around and sees me. Does he release charges? Is that how it works? I've been avoiding him. Hi. I'm a little afraid of letting him touch me. <laughs> but at the same time, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be doing. I haven't seen a charge since that first one. Let's go grab a battery. What's gonna happen? 
should be one down here. Stop their summoning, obliterate the blind men as well. Throw the enemy one gather energy units required. Aim at the enemy and press them. I don't need to. Okay then. <laughs> Got an achievement for that. That's good. be there already if he'd Now it's just a matter of do I get attacked by random floaty things, or is that only when I'm in the system? So I should probably get more energy if I can. Ah, I use, I guess I use the, since I got the thing, don't need more energy, huh? I do. Half a noon. And to here. Yep. Lovely. saved. Alright. Hello? Hello? Give me one of the doors. Hello? Cheat. <laughs> It's empty. Mm -hmm. Oh, jeez. Well, that's not good. Uh, stuff just keeps making noise. It's like, mm -hmm. anything up here? Nothing. Don't mind me. was all there was to hear. Can't use my system anymore, so it must be past that puzzle. Hmm. That room gave me a weird feeling. Oh, game safety. Hmm. Okay, 
do that. I already turned it off. I can't turn it off any harder. really captured your good side, didn't they? Hello? Dixie. Near. Something turn. Oh. Now there's stairs. I don't want to go down the spooky staircase. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> I feel like I just hit my head on the ceiling. How tall am I? Game saved. No oh, goody. Only good things happen after the game saves. here. Hello? Can I pick up the fuel? Nope. Why can't I light it all on fire? <laughs> what, is it like a subway tunnel? Or just a sewer? Interesting. in a sec. 
want to check out some of the not so dimensionally skewed rooms first. This one's got a letter. Anything else I can grab? Doesn't look like it. What's the letter say? Oh, it's one of the secret digits. Nice. Hopefully I haven't missed any so far. Oh, how can I tell? Inventory. Eh, looks like it was the second one. Secret tunnel. <laughs> Alright. Do not allow the day to come. Why are there dead ends here? Yeah. There's one. There's the last one. Ah. Jeez. I saw that. Search everywhere, so I'm assuming that I found everything. Hopefully, 
Looks like they're missing a note or something. So. Oh. It's one of these again. Hi. How are you? Again, be greeted. I have more of item after my unit. Gregory is dead. How did it happen? It is a mystery you need to discover. I went to the memory wasteland and destroyed the first dimension. I saw you have learned how to use the mind reader. Did you see the message when leaving the wasteland? Yes, the message was before I die. Let me look at the stars one last time. It is the last wish of the person whose death allowed this portal to be created. Gregory, is that anything to do with this? It is quite probable, but there is still a lot to be discovered what are the along your for? path. They are symbols of light. You shall find a use for them soon. <laughs> You're intentionally hiding something from me. I must know what's going on here. Keep on walking, and you shall see the truth. Know only this. The Institute's walls have seen a lot of death and suffering. And the game is saved. I think I'm going to call this part here. It's a good stopping point. Because otherwise I don't know when the next good one will be. So, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment for the Algorithm Gods. And I'll see you next time.